New at 10, it is a political ad. TV stations have little power to stop, even though that ad is agony for one local family. It, it, it kind of blew me away. I, of course, I was upset, angry. I cried. Now that ad was paid for by a group that supports state Supreme Court candidate Michael Scrinna. It attacks the other person in the race, Judge Rebecca Dallet. Ricky Mitchell joins us now with a family who says the ad is really an attack on them. Ricky. Well, Carol and Steve, this is an ad airing on TV stations across the state. But when this family saw it, they said it made them relive the hurtful case all over again. Dallet could have sentenced Ginador to 20 years, but she gave him only two. The focus of the ad involves a 2011 sentencing case under Milwaukee County Judge Rebecca Dallet. But the family of the victims in the case says the ad uses specific details that identify the young victims. They are putting our name out there without even realizing what kind of damage that they're doing. This family member asked that we conceal her identity to protect the victims. She says she first saw the ad on Friday. It kind of blew me away. I, of course, I was upset, angry. I cried. The ad was paid for by the Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce Issues Mobilization Council and is not affiliated with either Rebecca Dallet's campaign or her opponent, Sauk County Judge Michael Screnock. In a statement, the organization said this ad merely repeats publicly available information from public records and that the organization feels it's important for the public to be aware of this case. But the family says the young victims were not outed until this ad started airing. I can't have my family being put through that. It's 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 too much. It's shameful. It's hurtful and it's you know, I just need these ads to be taken down altogether. And the FCC does not allow TV stations to censor political ads unless it breaks the law. In this case, the ad is legal and factual. We did reach out to both candidates for a comment, but never heard back. Steve Carroll. Ricky, thank you very much.